Okay, uh, this is the second part of the user register tutorial, and uh, in the last video we set up our form, and now we're going to uh, start our scripting. So, uh, we've checked for the existence of uh, the, our button being pressed, our register button being pressed, and now what we're going to do is we're going to check for the existence of all of the, uh, uh, all of the items, the username, password, the retyped password, and email. So that's four, and so we're going to say dollar sign username equals. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, so dollar sign username equals dollar sign underscore post, and in here is username. So what you can do is you can just copy and paste all of these four times. So we have password password retype password and you just copy this and then email and we'll just throw some comments in and we'll say get data we'll save that so now what we're going to do is we're going to run an if statement you can't see that so we're going to say if dollar sign username, and then you want to put two and signs, and then dollar sign password, and then two and signs again. Scoot this over. Dollar sign retype password. Did I type that in right? Yeah. Should add some spaces to make it look a little bit neater. And then we also need to check for our, uh, the email. And you want to do this for each and every one of your uh, fields in your form, your register form, uh, because what it does is it makes sure it makes sure the user has has uh, uh, typed in these things. And now we're going to put an else, and in here we're just going to simply well we'll put brackets. So we're going to no, you don't need them. Sorry about that. And we're just going to simply echo you did not fill in every field. Simple enough. So you did not fill in every field. So, and we're just going to echo this out for a test, and we'll say, we'll just say done. Something simple. So if we fill in everything, just put in random crap, you get done. That, you get done. So if we go back and see how these two are blank, you do not fill in every field. You can put something in there. Huh. You do not fill in every field. That was weird why it worked. Why does it say done there? That's weird. Password. Ah, that's why. Right here, I didn't put in retype password. That's why. We refresh and resend. You did not fill in every field. So, if the user uh, doesn't fill in every field, uh, say he leaves one by blank, he or she leaves one blank but on accident, it'll get the error. So now we get rid of this echo. So now what we're going to do is we want to check for the existence of the. Or we'll we're we'll going to do that eventually. Now we need to make sure our password and our retype password are the same. So we're just going to put in another if, and we'll say if dollar sign password equals equals. And yes, that is two equal signs. Dollar sign retype password. So if they're equal, we're going to run this. And if they're not, we'll just simply put in an echo. Passwords did not match. So if the passwords aren't the same, uh, it'll say passwords don't match. And then if the passwords are the same, and all the fields have been entered, 
we're going to uh, check for the existence of the username the the, uh, the username that has been entered. So whatever's entered in here, we're going to check for the existence of this in our database already. So uh, what we're going to do is we want to uh, have our include, uh, and then we're going to include our uh, connect. Sorry. So you want to include our connect.php, which is right, where is it, right there. So that connects to our database, and we set that up in our other, in the, uh, one of the login videos, the first or second one. Um, so we're going to connect to the database, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a query, and it's essentially going to be the same query that we did in our login to make sure, uh, to to uh, with our database, uh, that didn't make sense. Um, so we're going to create a query. So MySQL underscore query, and in here we want to type in select. Oh, don't want that to be capital. You want to uh, select username. So we're going to select our username field. Whoops. We're going to select our username field in the database. And we're going to select all of them. And then you can simply just put in where username equals, can't see that, dollar sign username. So we're going to select the username field, and really this could just be all. Where username, whoops, where you, our username field is the same as the username provided. So if the username has been found, we're going to use the num rows uh, function again. We're going to use the num rows function. So mysql underscore num underscore rows. Sorry, can't see that. So in here, we're going to put dollar sign query. And I'm starting to run out of time here. Uh, I guess I'll just stop it here. Uh, so what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to uh, make an if statement. Uh, and then we're eventually going to uh, add all of our data to the uh, database. So uh, check out the next video.